Hello. Oh, this lighting is not good. Okay. Well, darn. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm going to see. Oh, yay. Okay. Um, let's see. Can you guys hear me? Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Now I see you guys. Hey. Hi. Hello. Okay. Sorry. This lighting's really harsh. Let me see if I shut this, if this will help. Does this help? Not really. Um, okay, well, we're just going to have to deal with the bad lighting. But I have a new edition coming. Actually, I have a couple new editions coming this week, which I will be filming and like uploading all that. But um, I have an order from Pelt Friction tomorrow that my friend and I are getting. So we'll unbox that. <sighs> Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey, Thomas. Hey, Spider Seb. Um, so yeah, we have an order from Pelt Friction coming tomorrow that I will be unboxing with him and I'll film that. And then we also have a another order coming in Friday morning. So that is the enclosure that I'm gonna like put together really quick here. I thought it would just be fun to go live for a minute and do that. Uh, nice haircut, what shampoo do you use? Um, I actually haven't cut my hair in like, years <laughs> and um i don't even remember what shampoo i use just i don't know but anyway so friday um we have an order coming in and i'm getting an h villocella i think that's how you say it it's an old world african i think it's um a dwarf and they're so cool they look like little cheetahs so i thought it would be fun to just put an enclosure together for it and i have like my supplies here because um well, first of all, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do the enclosure, so I thought it'd be fun to do it with you guys. <sighs> Thank you. And, um, yeah, I don't know. So, how are you guys? What has been up? Do any of you have H. Villasilla? I think I'm saying it right. And if I'm looking down here, it's because I, I have my computer here, so I can see what you're saying. Because my phone, it's just, like, way too small. I miss, like, everything. I got a Samani yesterday. That's awesome. Congrats. I have four Samani. <laughs> Probably more than I need. Old World is heavy burrower. So this is like a really weird species. I saw a video that I think, I'm not sure if it was bugs and stuff, but I want to say it was. They went out into the wild and they found H. villicella and they like coaxed it out of its, um, habitat they're actually like communal so they were like they had built their web on the side of like a, a rock so I'm kind of thinking that they're really going to want like a very dry um maybe something that can really web up a lot similar to a green bottle blue maybe but I'm, I'm not really sure so this is actually going to be like a test we'll see how it likes this enclosure how big is your collection now um, I know that there's probably about 60 to 70 tarantulas, I think, but I'm not sure. Hey, tarantula cat, that recluse video was awesome with the robotic voiceover. Okay, then you are going to like my next video because I actually filmed Magic Frog and Hypnotoad eating, and um, I'm going to edit that tonight. It should be up tomorrow. I just have to film a little bit more, but uh, I thought it'd be fun to just do a video with the little robot voice on some more animals because I don't, I don't know. It's just fun. <laughs> what is the green thing behind me? That is um, a little like gamer chair we got from a thrift shop. My husband likes to play video games, so he always um, sits on it. But anyway, I guess let's get started. So um, this is a couple different things I have. So this is just some random like dry substrate I thought would be good to use. And then I also have some dried leaves. And since it is from a pretty dry area, I thought we could use this. Um, I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit of this substrate to it too. I'm not really sure if the dry stuff will cover all of it, but I'm not gonna make it too deep because like I said, I think they web a lot. And we're talking about H. villicilla if you're just in entering in here. It's an African old world. Looking for a female Asian for a scorpion, but having issues. Know anyone? Oh, I don't. I always just see them at expos. 
Yeah, hypnotoad. Um, so yeah, I caught a toad. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know, but I finally caught a toad. I've been wanting to catch a toad for like a really long time and I finally caught one and so I have a toad and I'm gonna make that video introducing you guys to hypnotoad. Probably tonight, it should be edited and up tomorrow. Pinchers and Pokies probably has one. I'm assuming you're talking about the Asian Forest Scorpion and if they do, they are, I hear they're a very good place to order from. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see if this will, oh gosh, I'm getting leaves everywhere already. Oh, this is gonna make a mess. I always make a huge mess every time I get an enclosure together or if I film anything, it's just a disaster in here. Hey, Peter Webster. I'm trying, oh, um, so the toad that I got is a Fowler's toad. So it's a little bit smaller than the American toad, but um, yeah, I was reading a lot of really interesting stuff. I think I mentioned it in the video that they like secrete like a toxin and I don't know, very cool stuff. Oh yeah, this should be enough. I think this will be enough for the H. Villasilla because it's just one female. Um, like I said, they are communal, but I'm just getting one female. So I think that'll be enough. And this is really dry and it has like coconut husk in it. So I think this would be like really good for her to web up and everything. And then I also have, um, okay, this is like, this is my messy supplies box. So I'm exposing myself right now. Yeah, uh, this is a mess. <laughs> but in this, I actually have a few of these really cool um, sticks a subscriber sent to me. Um, so this is actually going to be perfect because they, he, when he sent me these, he wrote that they will mold. So not to keep them in like a, a wet, you know, moist enclosure. So this should be good. I think since I'm, it's going to be mostly dry and it's going to want to web up. So we can dig some of these out. Fowler's toad. They are so awesome. Had a hard time whoa, keeping them alive in a terrarium. Oh, that's not good. Um, mine is an adult. I thought it was a baby because it's so small, but when I started like reading more, I, I realized it's an adult and they're just very small toads. So that's cool. Um, hopefully I have more of those sticks. Oh, here's a water dish. I'll, I'll probably just do like this little water dish. I think Lucy, if you're watching, I think you sent me this. Any suggestions on other tarantulas for a beginner? Pretty much any brachypilma, any brachypilma, any gramostola, any aphonopilma just about would be a pretty good beginner. So. Oh, cool. All right, I do have more. So I think these will be actually really good. I think the person who sent me these said these would be good for true spiders. But um, we're going to try it with, with the Villacella. Get a Grimmastola Pulchra. I have two. But if you're talking to the person who's looking for a um, good beginner tarantula, Grimmastola Pulchra are, are great. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm just catching up on the chat. Sorry. Oh. What do you recommend for me to get... I have a sling. I don't want a species. I need to. Um, like I said, any brachypelma or a phonopelma. Okay, so Spider Sam says that the H. villa Scylla are an obligate burrower. So I think this should be enough because she's. I think she's about three inches. So I think this will be a, a good amount. But correct me if I'm wrong because, like I said, I've never kept this species. I actually... <laughs> My friend won it in an auction, so that's how I'm getting this. Um, what kind of tarantula is that enclosure for? H. Villacilla. Um, my number one tarantula is an A. Janiculata. I love her so much. Yeah, I have one too. I, mine's still pretty small. And then I also, I didn't, these just like, I forget to tell you guys, my Nandu Chromatis matured into a male, so he is actually going to my friend Ruth for Mostly Reptiles in September, 
and she has a female and we're gonna try to get some nandu chromatis babies so that would be that should be fun hopefully it works out though because she told me that her female has already eaten two males but she just molted so hopefully she'll be in a better mood when she meets mine I have that species, they sometimes burrow, but prefer to web up, so I wouldn't add that much substrate. Okay, so you guys think I should do, I'll, I'll like grab like a little bit out, how about that? We won't do so much, but still, still a decent amount. Okay, I think this, I think this will be good for her, I'm pretty sure. I'm, um, I think I'm going to try to find like a rock. Like I need to go outside <laughs> and try to see if I can find like a rock or something. Like, I don't know, just cause since I saw them in like a rocky area in that video, I feel like I should add some rocks. Um, okay. Now you're saying it's an obligate burl or a darn. Okay. I'll put one more handful back in. Okay, how is this, everyone? <laughs> is this an appropriate amount of substrate for an H. villicilla? I think this is good. Maybe, maybe I'll just add a pinch more, just because it's always okay to have more, right? Okay, how about this? <laughs> Can we all agree? <laughs> yeah, I think these sticks will look awesome webbed over, too. Um, that's why I've been kind of saving them. I got them a really long time ago, actually. Oh, here's my pumpkin. If you guys didn't know, this is sad. Um, this used to be in my K Bruna Peas enclosure. I had a female K Bruna Peas, and she actually passed away. Um, I said on my Instagram, but I don't think I said it here. I think like a few months ago. She was an older female, so I think that's what happened. Um, there was she didn't have anything wrong with her. I don't think. Hey, Tom Moran, you're here just in time. <coughs> oh, I just inhaled substrate. <coughs> Okay, so basically, Tom, you think this is okay? Because that's what everybody's saying, less or more, less or more. <laughs> is this okay for an H. Villasola, Tom? Save me. <laughs> is Lazadora parabana a good beginner species? Yeah, I mean, they are kind of hair flicky, but... Okay, usually if there's not enough substrate, they will web up more. So it just depends how you want to keep. I do prefer them to web up more. So I think this should be good. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess I'm just gonna like leave it at this because like I said, I wanna get like a rock um, to put like on the bottom and then I'll probably put like, I don't know, I need a rock. I didn't think this through very well, but whatever. So I guess I'll just leave it as like this for now. And what size? It's about three inches, I believe. Um, let's give mine several inches to start so they can choose. One of mine had a ton of substrate, but did a bunch of webbing up top. Okay. Yeah, I think she's about three inches. Um, she's coming to me from the Tarantula Keepers Coalition auction. So... Uh, my friend bid on her and uh, offered her to me. So um, she's just kind of a surprise spider. <laughs> Would you ever handle one of your old world? If so, which one? I wouldn't if I didn't have to. If one like ran up on me, I mean, I, I guess <laughs> involuntarily I would. Um, okay, yeah. So I guess I'll just leave it like this for now. And when I get that rack, I'll probably change it up a little bit, but I have to bring this enclosure to my friends tomorrow, even though these aren't coming in until Friday. I'm just gonna bring it over to his house tomorrow. Hello, Mass Exotics. Oh, I forgot the leaves, of course. Uh, we'll add some leaves, very nice, okay. This is what it'll be for now, and then hopefully we'll add a we'll add like a nice big rock or something for it to web to. But I don't know, it's just missing like a big piece. Something it needs something here, I think. But I think this will be good. 
Okay. There it is. I will, I will set it right here. There it is. So more wood. Yeah, I do. I, th I think I'll run up to the pet store later and I'll see if they have um, rocks or wood or something that will add to it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get off here in probably about like 10 minutes. So if you guys have any questions or anything, <clears throat> ask them now. How's your hamster? Pawnee is good. Um, she, if you follow me on Instagram, I post about her like a lot sometimes, but yeah, she's good. Um, she's really loud though. And like <laughs> she, in the middle of the night, she always wakes me up running on her wheel. And it's not because the wheel is loud itself. It's because she always puts like food or seeds or something on the wheel. And then she runs on the wheel. So it just makes this awful noise and wakes me up almost every night. It's great. Why is your chair moving in the background? Um, it's probably haunted. What's the weirdest creature you've kept? Um, I couldn't tell you. You guys tell me. Which, what, what's the weirdest? Favorite old world tarantulas? Um, any horned baboon, probably. Any horned baboon is cool. Hi, Jerry. Thank you so much. How long can a phonopill and calcodes be burrowed? Mine has been barricaded in her hide for nearly two months. Is she still alive? Mine was too, and I've wondered the same thing, but um, she's fine. So I'm going to guess that yours is fine too, probably. Human babies are the weirdest. I was going to say that, but like, I feel like people would be like, okay, you're weird. Those crabs are kind of weird. Actually, I think I only have one left. I'm pretty sure that one ate the other two or um, they died and it ate them. I'm not really sure because I never freaking see them. I actually just dug or tried digging them up yesterday. I found one alive. So there's at least one. Couldn't tell you if there's more than that. <sighs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about your hamster. That's awful. Yeah, that's the like the one bad thing about rodents is that they just don't live very long. It's very sad. So I think I'm just going to stick with a hamster because if I got rats or something, I would just get way too attached. Hi from Africa. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi from Italy. My skeleton tarantula is doing really well. Um, she's been hiding for like a really long time, but she's good. Um, my favorite piece Letheria is probably the, oh, I really like piece Letheria Metallica, Vitatas, Mirandas. I don't have a Miranda though. Hello from England. Hi, Rara. How are you? Get Degus. I think we'd need to get like a house for that, but maybe someday. <laughs> Hi from Germany. Hello. Serbia. Wow. You guys are really far away. Um, how would you rehouse a terrestrial tarantula? So what I do is I would get a cup and I would just guide her into the cup. And then once you get her like in the cup, you can just kind of bloop, put her right on over. It's very easy, especially if you have like Tupperware from a lid, like with the lid. Hello from Czech Republic, New England. Hi guys, Israel, Dallas. Dallas is nice. I've never been there. My brother lives in Austin though. So I'm trying to like visit eventually. Um, hello from Ireland. Hi, what snakes do you want in the future? That's a great question. So, um, I love Kenyan sand boas. I really like, I guess it's the normal morph, the ones that are like black and orange. Those are my favorite. Um, so that might be something <laughs> to think about. And then also I love rubber boas and I love Mexican black king snakes. So those are the three. Oh, and giant like boa constrictors. Those are really cool, but I could not get one anytime soon. <laughs> from California Poland Poland you have some uh, what what is it the spider shop no you guys have the the big place that Pecco did a tour of hello from Norway London hi from my apartment <laughs> UK yeah it's a lot of different countries that's something that I love about my YouTube channel is that I talk to you guys like all from everywhere like and it's awesome <laughs> 
my biggest wishes to meet you will come meet me we have oh that's right we have the tarantula takeover show coming may 17th 2020 that is the official date i do not know what creators are coming or anything like that yet we just have a date so just keep an eye out for that i'll talk about it as we get closer and things like start coming together um wisconsin philippines do you want to get a praying mantis so i did have the dead leaf mantis for a little bit, but um, it didn't live for very long at all. I think it was, I had it about six months. Um, so I was pretty devastated when that one died, and I don't think I'll be getting another mantis for a while. I've been tempted a couple times, but I think I don't need one right now. South Africa, come to the BTS. You guys ask me that all the time. I will someday. Someday. Not anytime soon, but someday. <laughs> Would you ever visit Peko? Yes, of course I, I will. Hopefully someday. <laughs> um, are there no spiders that you're afraid of? I don't like the um, banana spiders very much, the wandering spiders. And I used to always say I didn't like brown recluse, but like, look how that's changed. I love brown recluse now. So... How is your dragon? He's good. Tut's good. I just uh, cleaned his cage the other day. And yeah. Hamster's good. Hello. Could you come to Serbia? I want to meet you. That's quite a far away, but I won't rule anywhere out. <laughs> Sydney Funnel Web. I don't know much about them. I really don't. Um, I'm actually just now getting into true spiders, so I don't know a ton about them. Um, when are you coming to London? <laughs> someday, someday. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably going to hop off of here. So it was really fun. Um, like I said, I have that toad, uh, Hypnotoad and Magic Frog video coming out soon. I do have, I got, I'm going to include one of my spiders in it too. So I got to film that part really quick and then edit all that tonight. Hopefully it'll be up tomorrow. I'm not going to make promises right now, but that is the plan as of now. Dumpster tarantula is doing good, so yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. I don't know how to exit this out, so let's awkwardly sit here. Okay, I think I figured it out. 